No, no. Crystal, no. Don't put the teeth back in. <laughs> Not the cheese grater again! No! Whoa! Oh. Oh. Uh, where am I? Oh, at home. Oh, jeez. Freezing in here. Let's get some coffee. Oh, the hangover is real. Oh. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, legends and larrikins. Well, the last episode flopped harder than my meat mallet at a Mardi Gras. And so, I guess the masses have spoken. Whoa! Just do a random jump. Don't edit the videos. Just hit live and go hard. That's the way I like it anyway, ladies and gentlemen. And if you did miss the last episode, go back and watch it. I changed the style up a little bit. And you may miss a few things where we're up to if you're not... Now! I hope you all had a glorious Easter. Huh? Did you? <laughs> did you have a glorious Easter? And, yeah, today... We've got a lot of driving to do, my God! And after those nightmares of Crystal, the uh, crack or putting her teeth back in and giving us the old cheese grater, we are going to have to be awake and alert, lest those horrid dreams come back. Now, if you look here, we've got planks to pick up, wooden beams, and uh, pepper grinders and bowls to take down to the... Uh... Farmer's Markets, I believe, is going to be our best place to go. Let's have a look here. Scroll down. We don't have any weed yet. Oh, and that's the other thing we have to get today is seeds for the crops. Yes. Now, the crops isn't turning into the money. Um, the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the um, financial success that I was hoping for. All right. They're a bit slow. But that's okay. We'll we'll get there. Now, let's have a look here. What do we got? The farmer's markets. Oh, the grocer mart. We can take this stuff. All right. So, yeah. There's going to be a lot of driving in this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Now. So, put your driving gloves on. Get your uh, cock sock ready because it's uh, it's going to be cold. There's no, air c there's no heating in the old Ford. So, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's get right to it. Fire up this old rig. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I'm out here. My God. The testes have just sunk back up into my body. All right. Let's fire the ice. Fire this old girl up. Get the cold start ripping. Come on. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Beautiful. All right. All right. Now. First of all, we've got to get rid of these log forks. We don't need them today, so... Where is it? It's always sort of a hard spot to find. There we go. Uh, and then we go, ah... Uh, we're on to here. And customise. And customise. Now, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's commented. Right. I appreciate the shit out of you. So, thanks for that. I love hearing from you guys. All right, um, and yeah, we're going to hit the road. No time to muck around. Now, are we going to need the Kubota for this mess? I think we are. Probably not for the first one. What we're going to do, we'll go get the seeds first. That's probably the smart idea because... Whoa, freezing out there. All right, we're going to get the seeds first because that uh, we can get that growing and, and moving straight away. That's the smart thing to do here. And we're going to need the money after all of this anyway. So let's get the lights on. Ugh, are you guys ready? Strap in and hold on to your ass. Um, give me a look here. Let's go third person. Aha. And we are not connected. Get out there in the cold and connect it, please. Thank you. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, now the last episode... Uh-oh, we're stuck again, are we? Now, the last episode flopped real hard. Now, I'm not sure it's because of the style I did it in. Or whether it's um, the algorithm screwing me because I swore at the start and said I was high. 
and uh, yeah so don't know why so if you missed it and you're interested go back and have a look it's much shorter I did a lot of editing in it and uh, yeah let me know what you think all right we are heading straight down to the shop to get ourselves some weed seeds yes now uh, that's all we're saying there is going to be a lot of driving in this episode and I'm just gonna do it in the old style that I used to do which is just hit and hit and record and and go okay so yeah how was your Easter everyone let me know down below I love hearing from you guys so uh what did you get up to did you see zombie Jesus arise from the canyon or the cave or whatever it is <laughs> did you see Rick Grimes chasing him ha! tell me what happened alright let's get down here a random dog barking in the woods now I should say again as I usually do but if this is the first episode you're watching and you hear a rooster or geese spilling through my microphone I'm sorry all right it can't be helped I live on the farm in real life and I have about five roosters I got four now actually one died over the weekend which was sad but that's the way it goes and uh yeah, they like to, um, when they hear my voice start to record, they come running because they think I've got food for them. But I don't got no candy for them. No candy at all. And it spills through the mic and there's just not a lot I can do about it, unfortunately. So you'll have to put up with it. Well, get out, boy. Get out, we don't need your carn around here anyway if you don't like chickens and I ain't got no candy for you, boy. No candy. enough of that let's look at this snow man whoa jeez thick all right at least the foreman's looking after it down here a bit now let me just double check something before we keep going yes we are all good beautiful i have been known to uh start uh playing and uh, not recording anything and i want to make sure you guys get to see it all all of the glory, yes. Now, what day is it? We're in the second week of January. I've got these on every month is four days. And we, we're looking at that as weeks. Let's go up to third gear and get into first person. All right. Beautiful. You're warm enough? Huh? Sorry the heating doesn't work. We'll get it fixed one day like to do once we get some spare money i'd like to do a lot of um modifying to this old girl get it paint fixed up and put some smoked headlights and cab lights and stuff on it for the meantime she's just our old high boy huh? it's gonna go hard too all right look at this snow man it's thick so last we left off, we did, we made a little bit of money out of uh, logging. We made about 10 grand in logging, which seems to be our best form of income at the moment. Right. And uh, yeah, we were pretty high, as at the start we were ripping bongs, but you know, we got there in the end. Now. Pull into the shop here. I'm gonna have to wash the windscreen too. It's bloody filthy. You guys aren't pulling your weight. You larrikins. Get out there and wash my damn truck. Huh! Alright. Let's pull up here. Wait here! Alright. Um. Whoa! Easy now. Easy now. Okay. Let's go see the boys. <sighs> Make sure they've got some candy for us. Hey! 
You in there? Open up. Ugh. Guess not. All right. We can still pick up some seeds anyway. Let's have a look here. Pallets. Maybe right at the end. There we go. 1500 bucks for a thousand. Yeah, you see? So it's not much of a profit margin. All right. And we're going to buy four. Four pallets of seed. All right. And the next goal might be getting a different kind of grow house, I think, because these grow houses, they're not real efficient. There's not much of a profit margin in them, so... Let's see if this old girl will start in the cold. Easy peasy. Alright. Oh, that's the wrong way. Okay. Um, come on now. Get up, get up. Uh, where's the things? There. It's a bit hard to see in the snow. It's cool how Squiggles put the snow texture on the pallets, too. Um, if you haven't joined Squiggles on Discord yet, then what the hell are you doing? Get on there right now! Or Facebook, at least. The man's a modding genius. I love what he's doing. I mean, this... Cannabis DLC is fucking awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, what are you doing? Get on there and download his mods. Show the guys some love. He's got way more mods than just this, by the way. There's all sorts of things. He's got maps and bloody... Uh, like, breweries and all sorts of cool stuff. So you get on there, boy, and you go and uh, subscribe to him or like his page or whatever you do on the old Fez Burke. Whoa. Whoa. Come on now, get on there. There we go. Look at that sexy high boy. Man! God. So mint. Alright. Now, I wonder how heavy these pallets are. What I might do is put them on top like this. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> Cocksucker! Alright, uh... Eh. And that'll probably ruin the algorithm for me. Not that I really give a shit, to be honest. As I was saying in the last one, we're all... Probably... The way I carry on, we're very likely to always be a small channel, alright? So, I appreciate every single one of you that does... Ignore the algorithm... And is here, with me, right now. You are all glorious, alright? What am I doing? That'll do, I guess. Yeah. And, uh... Thanks for joining this Bogan's... This drunken Bogan's journey, I guess. Now, I'm thinking of doing some real-life homestead videos. So I've got a bit of equipment to do it. Show you my... Shit! Show you the glory... Of the shit shack that I live in. I mean, it is... It's pretty woeful. Where I live. I mean, it's a beautiful valley. Uh, you could... If you go on the Instagram, you can see it. Already, but... Uh, there's some YouTube ones. Not everyone likes the Instagram. And I don't blame them. It's full of wankers. So... Uh, but yeah, if you go on there, you can see all... More live shit. That's what I save it for, is like... The wildlife around here and farm stuff. But I'm um, thinking I might do some YouTube videos on it. Maybe, especially because I've got a lot of wood cutting to do and wood splitting. I was kind of hoping, I wanted to do like, when I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a live 
um, a live video around the campfire while I'm drinking beer and splitting firewood. Uh, so that's the plan for 500 subs anyway. If we can get 500 larrikins and legends, that's going to be the goal. If I can hit 500, man, I'll be laughing. That's, you know, probably 499 more than more people than I ever thought I would get. Now, why can't I reverse? There we go. And I've done a really shit job at that. But I can't seem to move, so... Let's get a run up. Alright. Push that in. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Quality operator me. Alright. Now, my understanding is, like, reading um, some of you guys' comments... Um that you like to just chuck this on and have it on in the background while you guys are playing and doing stuff before work and shit. And that's awesome. I can get right... Ah, uh, uh, She'll be right. Now. Yeah, and that's awesome. I can get right behind that. So, cheers for the comments and letting me know. Because, yeah, as I was saying, the last episode... It was by far the lowest viewership, and I'm not sure whether it was because of the style I did it in, the length of the video, or whether I was swearing at the start, uh, and, you know, pretending to smoke bongs, so. <laughs> pretending, yes, um, at the start, so maybe that's why. Who knows, who knows, but anyway. That's gonna happen. Let's get on with it. No time for worrying about that shit. Let's get hit the road. Get back home and get these seeds a-growing. Then we gotta load up the Kubota. Go get these pallets of, uh... Thing from, uh... What's his name? Barry up the top and... Uh... Simo. Down at the other place. Simo the Wood Turner, I think that was his name. It's been quite a few days since I've actually been able to play, and it's actually really cool to be back. I love this map. I love this game. So awesome. But, uh... Yeah. Let's get into third person, see my quality loading job. Look at that. Yeah. Ugh. Whoa. Have a quick drink here. Keep your eyes on the road while I... Ah. Ah. Uh. Oh, pardon you, disgusting animal. All right. You make me sick, boy. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing a trip back to Iowa. Gotta go see Crystal the Crack Whore. And see if my old... See if the swamp... See if there's anything we can get back from the swamp. We left in a rush because the cops are after us for moonshining. And growing weed. But, uh... Yeah, I'd like to see... If maybe we could get back there and sneak away with my old IDI. I want that 6-9 IDI back for sure. It was a good ute. Maybe... We'll just see. We'll see what we can do. Sneak away with as much as we can. But we'll see what happens. Alright, let's get a good run up here. In fact, I'm going to go to first. Because first seems to be the strongest gear for this, obviously. If any of you drive stick, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I am using the American term. Menhuel is what I mean if you drive a Menhuel. And no, Menhuel, he's not the guy that works uh, mowing your lawns and stuff there. I mean, the manual is in the gear shifter right here. Look, see. Pow pow! Stick, I believe you Americans call it. So. And what is funny too, and I never expected. 
is by far the most of you are American. Most of you larrikins and legends. You're uh, Americans, which is awesome. Now, all hail to America. Love you guys, all right? You're our big brothers over there. Well, I consider America our big brother. You know? And let's hope that the right person gets back on the job very soon for you guys. My God! What the hell? But yeah, planning to go over there uh, this December. After you guys have kicked out that uh, feeble old uh, mush brain. And Orange Man is back in power, yes! <laughs> I'm going to head down to Texas. Have some black tooths at old Dimebag's grave and just enjoy America for a bit. Hell yeah, brother. Cannot wait. My God. All right, let's get some seeds into this. Look at how bumpy this road is here. I'll get third person. Didn't realize snow was so bumpy. All right. Probably because I'm going too fast to... Uh, nope, that doesn't help at all. All right, <laughs> made it worse. All right, now let's park in here. Oh, that's better. Oh shit! No! I did not. <laughs> I did not realize it was gonna suck up all my. You son of a bitch! All right. God damn it. That's alright, we can still get it working. Now. Um, how many did it get? Okay, it got a bit, it got a bit. Damn it. That's alright. That's alright. Um, activate. Alright, now we should be getting double. Alright. Which is not much. And I'm a bit disappointed, because when you look down this row here, and you think of how much... Yeah, I mean, I guess in terms of realism, it takes that time to actually grow it. So, I guess it's it's real. So, but anyway, let's uh, uh, pardon you, go get the Kubota. Now again, I'm doing just a longer episode. Hit record and go. No editing in this one. What you see is what you get. Uh, uh, the good thing is, like I said before, is you guys can skip ahead if you don't like. If it's getting boring, just skip ahead to the interesting parts. So I've tried the editing thing now and it failed hard, so... Chucky U-turn. Alright. Boom! Get the ramps out. Leave that running. Fire up the old rig. Put the forks on. Now, I think it was like three grand to put more weight on this. And I'm pretty sure this is 400 kilos, so we might just leave the logging box on, I think. Warm it up. Well, am I hitting something? Hmm. Let's put this up here. Uh oh, I'm spinning already. <laughs> this is going to go well, isn't it? I can tell. All right, we need this one off. And the and the forks on. <laughs> Now, some idiot put them over here where it's going to be real hard to get. Boom! Look at that. And we're on. Oh, and I'm stuck. Don't get stuck. This snow is wild, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm finally getting some cooler weather here at home, too, which... 
is awesome because I hate summer. Right? Summer in Australia sucks real hard. It is way too hot to exist. Yeah. Where I'm at anyway, it is. I'm looking forward to maybe getting some of this white powder myself. And also some snow. Alright. <laughs> I can't seem to get up. I don't have that pr problem elsewhere, you can believe me. Uh, oops. I need to lift that uh, wood box, I believe. Oh. <laughs> okay. So can I... Is there another way to lift it? Hmm... Would not appear so. Alright. Maybe we will have to get the weights. Get a run up! Yeah! Okay, we did it. We did it. Whoa. Bang. Alright. Straps on. Ramps up. Let's ride. Now we are going to go and get the um, grinders and stuff first, I believe. Because the wood pallets, that's going to be a whole other epic journey. Um, because we can't get the... Well, we won't be able to get any of the machines up to uh, Barry's place to get it. Right. So... Not sure. Not sure how we're going to do that. We need a more capable snow vehicle for that sort of nonsense. It's alright, we'll get there. It's just not going to be any time soon, I don't think. I guess we could explore the other entrance to the mountain. Maybe it's not as steep. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll do that in this episode. What do you reckon, ladies and gentlemen? Yes! Nah, yeah. Okay. This hill's becoming a familiar sight, isn't it? It's alright. It's a beautiful morning out there. Absolutely beautiful. Alright. Put that away. Now, I am just in first gear, because... Just take it an easy. Because it's very bumpy. I'm not going to waste money on a snow plough because it's only going to snow again and uh, get crazy. So I think the time it takes to do that is just not worth it. Unless we can get one cheap on um, the Mace Book Farket place, um, which we can have a look at, by the way. Let's have a look at old Mace Book Farket place. Um, what do we got here? Oh, that's a yarda. Yeah, nah. Nothing we want just yet. Now, one of you guys mentioned heading to Canada and getting on some logging. Uh, hanging out and doing some logging. Yeah, well, not until old Turdo is out, okay? That commie bastard. Not happening. I feel real sorry for you guys. We've got a really terrible um, left government in at the moment too. And Man. To be honest, both of our sides are really bad at the moment. Australia doesn't have a lot of good political choice, shall we say. That's pissing me off. But yeah, Canada, man. As I was saying, what Trudeau did to your protesters and truckers, 
That asshole should be hung from a flagpole and flown like a flag. That's all I'm gonna say, so. All right. Let's get rolling. But I'll get to Canada one day. I had plans of moving there. IRL. I wanted to move to Alberta. Get some work, but no, not at the moment. Not at the moment. Now we're going to have to go the long way around because there's, I don't think any way I'm going to be able to get this machine across the hills uh, with the way the snow is at the moment. It's just not going to happen. Let's cruise along here in third person for a while and have a good old yarn. And that's why, and someone did say, am I going to live stream on YouTube? Yes, I am. I was live streaming on Twitch. I've decided to pull the pin because Twitch is just in a terrible state right now. All right, it's awful. YouTube's in a far better, far better state. All right. Um, but yeah, I was going to save it for five hundred. So, but that may change. Because my meteoric rise to power has just not uh, really happened. So it's taking longer than I thought. No, it's, it's to be honest, it's not. It's actually way quicker than I thought, to be real. But, I, and 500 is just some arbitrary drunken goal I've set for myself to do live streams. It's no even real reason for it. It's just like a milestone. But that's what I'm going to do, okay? Because I said I would. Oh shit, let's hope we can get up this fucking hill. Hold on, guys! We're gonna go flat chat. Oh, now, no seatbelts in this old rig, so. Hang on! I've got my foot flat to the floor. And she's doing alright. We're still in second gear. Oh, you guys can still see that. Oh, shit! We're gonna need fuel, goddamn! Might have to get fuel on the way back. Alright, let's do some first person driving. There we go. Excuse me while I uh, pick my nose and wipe it on the adjacent wall. Just kidding. I do need to pick my nose, though. Or blow my nose. Hang on. Pull over here! Ugh, hold up, traffic. You keep your eyes out. <coughs> oh, my brain just fell out. Alright. Let's go. Ugh. Too much powder. Alright. Too much white powder. <laughs> yeah. Look at it all out there. But yes. Uh, where was I? I don't know. 500. Something or other. My brain is not really firing on all cylinders at the moment. And there's a couple of valves hitting the pistons. There's a knocking noise in the brain, and I'm just not sure what it is. Might need some new injectors. <laughs> Alright. Enough of that nonsense. Third gear! Now, another thing I want you guys to know, is it better... Do you like it better if with the HUD on, so you can see what's going on? Do you like it better off? Because uh, I'm happy to play to how you guys like it. Right? I want to know what you like. I'm a giver. What can I say? Shower, not a grower, as uh, the ladies might say. I'm happy to play to your tune, baby. Uh. Getting a run up for this hill. FULL POWER! Hey. 
easy peasy. Didn't even bother it. Oh shit! Hang on, chat. Not chat. Well, who are you? YouTube. Maybe I should call you my subbies, hey? Hold on, subbies. What do you think of that? How do you like that nickname? Huh? Tell me. Subbies? Hold on, subby. It's got a few connotations to it, which is funny. I think it's funny anyway. And, uh... Yeah. Haven't heard any other... Spewtubers using it, so... Oh, shit! Did you see that? Get a sign. Oh, crap. Oh, hang on! We got the death wobbles. Oh, beautiful. Okay. We're alright, we're alright. There's the fox farms. Uh, soil and fertilizer company. Now, if you don't know, that is part of the Squiggles DLC mod. I built that before we played this map. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. You can make uh, fertilizer and soil, I believe. You just need diesel and rocks. Which is something we might look into. Because making some good fox farm soil and selling it could be... Could be good for us. Depending on the diesel price. Which if you're in Australia or Canada, my god. Alrighty, how bad is it going to be in here? Oh, not too bad. Simo! Get out of here! Pull up right here. Beautiful. Ugh. Right. Simo! Simo, you there? Oi! Simo, look at his wares. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful place you got here, Simo. Now, we need... The yeah, we've got staircase. Okay, we'll take the pepper grinders, mate. Um, how do I uh do this? Spawn. Here we go. Boom. So we'll have two pallets to take to the uh markets. Beautiful. Cheers, mate. Look at that. Beautiful work. Look at all these dildos, man. That's some high quality white tip dildos right there. Okay. And bowls. Look, you got everything. Fire this up. Reverse. Hopefully we can get back on. Now, I probably need to move forward a bit, actually. Just scrape the shit out of the ramps. They'll be right. Let's lift them up. There we go. Alright. That'll do, that'll do. That fucking snow hill there will probably fuck us up, but that's alright. Let's get moving. Now, does anyone know how hard does YouTube screw a fella for swearing? Is it, like, ridiculous? Like, do they actively, like, block you or something? Because it seems a bit silly to me. Because people... That's how people talk, man. People swear when they talk, right? So, especially in Australia. And it just seems silly to me, alright? Huh? 
you're losing like you think that YouTube would make more money from swearing but I guess it's the advertisers that really stuff it up hey <coughs> and who honestly is offended by a few swear words I mean get the hell off the internet man if you can't handle a swear word then just fuck right off hey go just turn all the power off go outside flip your main switch off and then go sit inside and curl into a ball in the corner and get fucked that's as far as I'm concerned you can't handle a little bit of swearing you can fuck right off <laughs> it's a sign of an intelligent mind swearing right? ask any you know Ask anyone who swears. <laughs> Alright. Straps. Lift the things. Good work, guys. Get in. Let's ride. Alright. First gear. Boom. And we're off, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get out of here. Down to the farmer's markets. And, uh... Yeah, we have to get fuel too, actually. We'll stop across the road. There is a fuel station there, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah. No power steering in this old beast. Alright. Can we even get in there? That window's a bit dirty. Let's go third person, because I need to give this rig a wash. What have we got there? Stone Crusher. Hmm. Gives me... You know what? I just had an idea. There's a quarry up the road. Oh, can we not get fuel here? There's a quarry up the road from the house. Maybe. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, how much money is this using? Ah, not much. That's cool. 110 bucks. Sweet. Yeah, maybe we could start the soil thing. Hmm. We're going to need a fuel tank, though. I guess we could buy a fuel tank. We could give it a try. I mean... Not sure how much production costs are going to be. It could be cool. Show you a bit more of the mod too. Hmm, actually. That does give me a stiffy. That idea. Let's pull in and have a quick look while we're on the way past. In these snow drifts. I'll tell you what, boy! Bit of a valve tick in the ute too. Alright. Um, have to pull off the road because there's cars. Alright. Let's go check it out. Subbies. Hey, does that work? Hello? We just want to have a look at your beautiful establishment. Um, now this is not part of the map. Whoa, shit. I threw this together. Oh, there's a gate. Never mind. Um, I threw this together for this playthrough. Now, this is part of Squiggle's Cannabis DLC. And if you've seen the old videos from the swamp, which a lot of you have, um, you'll know how this works. But if not, if you're new here, this is how it works. All right. Soil production. You need diesel and stones, and you get Fox Farm soil, which is used in. Uh, no, not the wardrobe. We've got our warm winter coat on. We need cannabis DLC and these ones. So I'm hoping that these. Uh, or maybe not these ones. Uh, these ones. Here we go. These might be a faster production. I'm hoping. But as you can see, they're pricey. 
very pricey. And yeah, and then we got the grow shed as well. So yeah, we do want the grow shed, I think. And as you can see, we need the soil, but we need clones for that. Now to make clones, we need. Uh, is it the packing? No. Yes, it's this, and it is expensive. My God! All right. So we're, yeah, we can't do that. We need more large grow houses. That's going to be the goal. Um, and we're just going to have to buy clones for now. So a couple, if we can get like two of these greenhouses down, we'll be laughing. So maybe we do start investing in... Like, an, oh, I just had my brain just, a cylinder just fired for like the first time in a century. For the first time in my life, I just had a thought. This Lance Modding mod, right, has, it has, where is it? I have to go to this, don't I? Um, as you can see, I'm running a lot of mods. <clears throat> uh, now, what's how's the alphabet work again? It has. Where is it? This. Tobacco. Hmm. Does the bucket pick shit up? It does. Does it pick up stones? Let's have a look. If this picks up stones, we might be. Laughing, ladies and gentlemen. It picks up gravel. There's gravel. Okay, it picks up mo. Yep, picks up stone. Fantastic. Mmm. I'm stroking my chin right now. Mmm. Mm. Well, that presents some opportunities, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Now. As far as I'm aware, no one owns the quarry, so... Close the gate for him. Hmm. <sighs> you in? Get in, subby. Wind that window up, it's too cold. Alright. Let's get out of here. First gear. No one's coming. Beautiful. Alright. Well... We get that quarry. Hmm. But we have no way to lug the stone around. That's going to be the problem. We don't have a trailer that can hold stone. And the tub of this uh, truck doesn't hold it, so. Hmm. That presents an issue. The only thing I can think is that we hire the equipment. We hire a trailer. And maybe... A bigger excavator. Then we've got to buy the diesel, which could be expensive. Hmm. I guess we'll have to look that up too. How expensive is the diesel going to be? Slam the brakes on! Your head just smashes off the dashboard. Alright, how expensive is... I'm just pulled up in the middle of the road. A diesel pallet. Let's add blue. A diesel barrel. 150 for 180 litres. Pretty sure I have another mod on here that does it. Okay, 2,500 for 2,000 litres. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. My brain, it hurts from all the thinking. 
Now, as you can probably aware I don't have a plan <laughs> right? you are seeing you know my stupid brain work this out IRL uh, I don't have a plan for this other than growing dope and making money so again yeah so that's you know put down there in the comments how you want to see shit go Talk to me, boy! If you think I should do one thing or another, you say so down there. I'm Backseat gaming is fine by me, alright? I mean, obviously, you can't please everyone when all the different suggestions start coming in, but by all means, put some suggestions down there. Let me know what you think. There's the riverboat. So, 2,200 for 2,000 litres of... Oh, shit! Hang on! Phew, that was close. Um, for 2,000 litres of fuel. Well, I don't know what to do now. We need to put a couple of irons in the fire. I mean, because waiting for this dope to grow is just not really an option into if we want to start expanding this business beyond. Really, the best way to make money is logging, but is it boring for you guys to watch? Because, sure, you can make money logging, but I didn't want to really do it that way. I mean, everyone does that. I want to try and weasel my way into a fortune. Hmm. Give me something to ponder anyway. Let's get onto these markets. And... Whoa, shit. What happened there? Road's a bit slippery, mate. Just hang on. We're going downhill. This could be dangerous. She's a dangerous old road, this, in winter. Subbies, hang on. I don't know if I like subbies. It's got to be a fucking single cylinder. Cylinder? <laughs> a single syllable word. Again, help me. Come up with something. What I can call you idiots. Huh? I call you idiots for subscribing to me in the first place, because, man, am I stupid. Wow. It's like the blind leading the blind. Huh? Uh... But, no, seriously, I do appreciate the nice comments that you have given me so far. One of my favourites, um... I'm the only... One of my favourites that gives me a bit of a big head and a hard cock is, um... You're the only farm sim guy with personality or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> and yeah, that's, uh, that is something I wanted to do a bit different than the big guys. I mean, they've got to play it so safe because a lot of children watch their stuff and... No children should watch what I'm doing, alright? This is not for children, ladies and gentlemen. This is an adult's playthrough. Alright? And, uh... You can swear. I encourage you to say whatever the hell you want. Anything I don't like is racist stuff, okay? I'm just not into it. I think it's stupid. I don't like... Judging people on the colour of skin is got to be one of the most stupid things humans do. It really is. Um, we all bleed red in my books. If you're black, brown, pink or yellow, you're alright in my book, fella. Alright? Now, where is this uh, farmer's market? I believe this is... Get in here and give old Billy Bob these dildos. Hopefully he doesn't use them all in one go. Alright, look at this. How much money are we making? 
Boom. Almost three grand. Fantastic. Almost three grand off that. I think, though, it's easy. It's better in the long term. Let's get out here and have a coffee and just... Here, let me rub your leg. All right. Now, I think it's better to just cut the wood and sell it than it is to go through these production lines. Because um, we're paying um, Barry and Simo to uh, basically make them for us. And at the end of the day, a single pallet, when you consider it with a single tree, it's not worth it for the transport after the diesel, the wear and tear on the tyres. You now you've got to service the ute. It's better to just log. All right. So after they're done with this, I'm not going to rehire Simo on that. They can fuck off. What I am interested in now is this quarry. Just here. Oh. <laughs> Look at that price tag. Hmm. We can't steal it. I wonder... Does Terra Farm work on this map? Because I could just dig a hole somewhere on my property. Make our own quarry. Hmm. We're almost at the hour, so let's get home. We'll end the episode there. But we will, before we finish, scout and see if there's a good spot for a quarry. Because we need to pass the time while we wait for this weed to grow. And that might be the way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I'm not afraid of backseat gaming. You let me know which direction we should go. That seems like making soil, even just getting prepared for it. We could buy the diesel easy enough. Get it over there. Listen to this. Man. Oh, now that's another thing too. If you're wondering how I got the sounds and put them over this mod, um, I used uh, was Audacity, all right? And I jumped on YouTube and I found some 12 valves with some big pipes and I recorded an Audacity and then saved the audio file and replaced it in the mod. So it's not the original sound of this mod. I just don't like the sound of the turbo wine in the original one. And I could have just deleted it and kept the um, original sound, but I like this one better. I like that, yeah, open-throated 12-valve screaming. So, yeah, the sound obviously is different than the original mod. But if you want to do it, that's how you do it. But again, all respects to uh, the Gear Wrench boys, the Diesel Divisions Customs, who make these awesome mods. And actually, I should show you that, and I will before we go, to give them a bit of a plug to all you guys who are watching this. Uh, when we get up to... Oh, shit. Well, you know what I just realised? We're not going to be able to get up this hill. Uh, that's alright. We'll go off-road if we have to. Um, we'll give them a plug and they are paid mods um, and I will say that uh, the only thing I'm really dis well not disappointed the only thing I don't like about their other paid mods is the suspension whatever they've done with the suspension in them it's not as good as whatever they did with this one, which you can get for free. So this mod is free. And I know they are releasing others. Oh, come on. When There's no way we're making it up this. Reverse gear. 
Come on. I don't even know why I keep trying this, to be honest. Alright. We're going through the woods. Uh, yeah. Whatever they've done with the suspension in this is the way to go. The other ones, they're too stiff. Uh, they're awesome mods. I mean, they look visually stunning. Um, a lot of the sounds are, you know, pretty good. But, uh, yeah, the only downfall is the suspension. Oh, and there's the rooster. So if you're hearing the rooster spill through, I apologise. But he's now decided to join us. Alright, let's see if we can get this up here without... Uh, taking the tractor off. We're going bush, ladies and gentlemen! And it's not looking good straight away. We're going to have to take it off, aren't we? Come on, you old beast! You can do it! I think we might have to take the tractor off. Damn it. And if we can get this hill, we might have it. The snow is just too thick. I think. Come on. We're still crawling. We're still crawling. You can do it! You can do it! What a mighty rig! Yes! Oh. Still a long way to go, though. So let's calm down. Well, it did that bit. I'm impressed. I did not think it was going to make that. Let's look for the least steep part, which I think is where we went before. see the trail we made in the last episode ladies and gentlemen with the Kubota we did try and get up here before if you haven't watched it go and watch it no yeah I think the reason YouTube screwed me on it is because I swear at the start uh oh we may have just stuffed it. come on Come on, go, 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 go. Yes! Uh, but yeah, there was a lot less fuss in, uh, in the last episode because I edited so much of it out and I just sort of kept, you know, the silly bits, basically. But yeah, YouTube screwed me because I swore right at the start. And I'm repeating myself over and over, I just realised. <clears throat> Alright. We are back. Look at that. We managed to do it without taking the tractor off. Huzzah. Alright, here's our border. Now, I'm gonna... As I was saying, I'm gonna try and make these episodes about an hour long. Okay? when I can just press play and go. Um, which works well for me and hopefully for you guys. Uh, look at this. Beautiful. The sun shining through the trees. We made th almost three grand today, which was, was pretty good effort. Well, this week, I should say. Um, because each day is a week. So. Uh, let me think now. What was I doing? Yes. Let's, uh, well, actually, we'll pull up down here. We've got to scout for a quarry and show the gear wrench mods. Beautiful. Shut the engine off, turn the lights off so we don't flatten the battery. <sighs> Alright. Let's get inside where it's warm. <laughs> it's freezing out here. <sighs> oh, feel that blast of heat. Right. Yeah, get your nipples close to that fire. Get them all nice and supple for me and I'll give them a squeeze. <laughs> now, let's have a look at these. Oh, it's the wrong button. Okay. 
So, where are you? Gear Wrench Modding. Look at these awesome mods, man. I, I mean, they're great. My, as I was saying, my only issue, there's so much you can do. It's well worth paying. I think it was like 50 bucks um, to get these. And there's heaps, heaps of mods. Like, all different sorts of trucks and uh, things. It's well worth jumping on. That's where I got the caravan and the service trailer. Um, and I love this. Uh... The, the options you can get on this thing, you can go from space cabs to dual cabs to long beds to short beds, different engine blocks. You look in the engine bay there, you know, different V8s, big blocks, short blocks, all sorts of different wheels and wheel setups, spacings, year models. I mean, the options are fantastic. My only gripe, as I was saying, is the suspension. It's so stiff. It's harder than a honeymoon cock, and it's just the, the one thing that lets it down, sadly. I mean, look at this old inline. Look at that beautiful old 350. Uh, 250. Ah, uh, 235. Sorry, that's 350. Yeah. But yeah, not a big Chevy man. I'm a Ford guy, all right, but that's still beautiful. Um, and don't even get me started on the old Dodge. Now! Or as the shipping crate, as, uh, anyway, and, uh, you get these as well. These Rams. Now, these boys obviously love their Chevys. I mean, their, uh, Rams. So, yeah. Jump on there and give them a go. Uh, and then, yeah, the cannabis stuff, it's free, man. Squiggles does that for free, so... For certain, get on that. Now, let's get out there. Last thing for the day before we uh, end the episode. Uh-oh. Here comes the snow. Uh, where are we going to dig a quarry? Now, where does our border actually go? Okay. So, we can go down here near these paddocks somewhere. Let's go for a walk. You got your coat on? Huh? Oh, that's the mama deck. Let's get down. Let's get down here. I'm taking you into the woods. Steep in the woods. Right. Squeal like a pig for me, boy. Um, yeah. If you don't get that reference, then fuck you. All right. Now. See, like, we could go over here somewhere and not stuff up our beautiful property. You know? Because where are we here? Yeah, we are still well within our property. Look at this. Look at all this space we've got over here unused. Hmm. Now, the question is... Does Terra Farm work? And that's a big question, and I guess we'll find out in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen. Now, why have got you out in the woods here? Take off them pants, boy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And I want to say a huge thank you for all of you legends and larrikins that have subscribed. I appreciate it. I love the comments. Keep them coming! And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one, all right? We'll keep the wild winter homestead going and until we really get the cannabis flowing. But there's going to be some new episodes uh, coming out. Uh, not just on Farming Sim, but I'm thinking of doing Skyrim one. Yes. <laughs> Do some Skyrim characters. I tried them before, but the quality was so bad I deleted them. But now I think I've worked out my issues with the recording and OBS. We're going to do some. Let's see how it goes anyway. All right. And on that note, have a great one, you legends and larrikins, and we will see you soon. Cheers.